all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as it is hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot um in a few minutes in a jiffy i will drop you mazen and the canals audio voice note um i think um i just decided to bring to your you know to your conscience to your mindset you know to your remembrance what had happened in the past a, a prophecy this is more like a prophet prophecy of what is happening today in nigeria Mazina the Kano Hamadike one of Ndibo, a prophet, a man anointed by Chukoki Kabiyama. A man God looked at and said, let me pour oil on the face of this man. Let me just pour oil and name this, this man a savior, a Moses of the 21st century. And, you know... When Moses came to his people, I will still drop that uh, audio note of uh, Mazen Nandekano so that you can hear from him uh, uh, by yourself today. But before I will drop this particular voice too, there are some things I want to touch. I still want to remind our people because um, some people have forgotten. Um, even in Anambara today, the man in Anambara as the governor of Anambara state today is as a result of Mazen Nandekano's influence. Because people believe that Apuga is Sojuku's party and Mazen and the Kano is, you know, somehow indirectly part of Apuga because he has been a fan of Ojuku and Ojuku is a godfather to him. Nande Kano has been a man who has respected the tradition of his people and he is not a man who is very pompous. He's not a pompous person. When he came back to Nigeria, he was eating with the poor, the rich, and the middle class. He never. You know, he never, you know, uh, uh, disassociated himself from the poor. That was why a lot of people rallied uh, rallied with MNK. He made so many allies in different countries, African countries, even South Africans. If you look at what is even happening in South Africa today, the way blacks came out and started doing a lot of things, apart from what happened during the time of Nelson Mandela, but South Africans, uh, if you look at, if you have heard about uh, Honorable Maliama, one of the South Africans' uh, political activists, and I know that very soon Maliama is planning to become the president of South Africa because now he has a lot of fans. I believe that Maliama learned a lot of things from Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano was a mentor to many people, not only to Biafrans, but to a lot of freedom fighters all over the world because... He came up all of a sudden and became a voice that, you know, that touched the world, that, that pierced the heart of men. And such voices are once seen is in either in centuries or something like that. Because now, if you look at histories of revolution, you look at the people like Mahat Gandhi, you look at uh, Martin Luther King, you look at uh, uh, Nelson Mandela of South Africa, you look at other freedom fighters, those who fought in the Soviet Union, in Poland, and those who are fighting in Catalonia and the rest of them. You find that people who are very outspoken to fight for freedom, they come after a century, or maybe in the mid of a century. And you find that after some century has passed, uh, people like Nelson Mandela has gone to uh, be with his fathers, Mazen and Kano emerged. And I believe that emergence of Mazin Nandekano is to save the whole of Africa. It's not even only to save the Biafrans. It is to save the whole of Africa. And if you have a, a foresight, if you, if you have a, fo a focusing mind, you will understand that what is happening in, Bi in Biafra land today has already started entering into other African countries. Look at Mali. Look at Burkina Faso. Look at Niger. These people have started opening their eyes to what belongs to them. And all these things emanated when Mazen Nandekano, one Biafran child, one Biafran son started. He rose up like a, a mighty Iroko tree. Even though that our people say now, Osi Kuchile Zinonya Wanele Apamma, Mazen Nandekano as Iroko tree standing on the road has taken a lot of, a lot of scars. 
because he is speaking for freedom, because he is fighting for his people, I will drop his, his, um, his audio voice note so that by yourself, you can listen to this man again because it seems as if uh, what concerns MNK has started dwindling away from the, the, the eyes of the people. It is, it is now as if it's a smoke like an ember turning to ember. But thank God uh, for people like the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazis Simon Epa Manjoku Odogwana Manzunanya 2 of the Wanana Bobo Natani Wakana Mwichona Tachara Ekenenge. Iwokwenu, yeah. Oh, Konara, I still remember the scene with the one and only Nyokopus master man where they see far, far. I go see, say, uh, to all of us of freedom, where we say then they all over the world, I say, I can edit you know, uh, umuchineke kachuku kabiyama, uh, making use blessing, long life, prosperity, open door, and bless all of you now, wherever you are day. Before I go drop that Mazina the Canon's audio tape, you get some things why I want touch light. Just make I just touch light some things and not go waste much of your time. Look at what is happening in the House of Assembly, where a lot of people are attempting to impeach Goswell at Babio. Remember that there was a time Ndibo was the Senate, was there in the Senate. And when Ndibo was there in the Senate, what happened during this past administration of Muhammad Buare? And the present administration of Tinubu has has never happened in the history of Nigeria. I just want you to look at because the reason why I'm going towards this second Francis is because many people are of this speculation that Ndibo are the lovers of money. I could remember the days of Choba Oka the body Oyi of Oyi. I still remember the days of Ike Koremado. I still remember the days of Pius Anim. And I still remember the days of other Igbos who have, you know, gotten to the point of the Senate president and the deputy Senate president and how the, 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 the expenditures of the nation, the accounts of the nation, the issues of the, the, the legislature were managed. It was in the time of Choba Okadibo that you, you, you see the beauty of legislature where the legislature are doing the full work that they are that they are chartered to do because they are chartered to do this particular work but it looks as if now that they are taking these things as their father's house they lobby all the money they take all the money home even now it is in the time of gospel Papio that we know that um the senate president used to send prayer in people's email as money <laughs> Chuba Kadibo was one of the individuals that stood against uh, uh, Iberiberism po uh, politics that, that wanted to take over the, 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 the Nigeria political sphere and structure. As of that time, and a lot of people hated him, even the then uh, uh, president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, was the two of them were like cat and rat. And you, you look at some of these things, and now tell me who is deceiving who? Is it in Dibo that are the that are causing the downfall of Nigeria? Or is it the Yorubas or the Hausas? And who are these people who are causing the downfall of Nigeria? And who are people who are bringing this man, uh, marginalization into, into this nation? Now, if you look at some of these things, I want you by yourself to be the judge and judge between Ndibo and every other tribe in Nigeria who is more patriotic than each other. Now, by the look of things, you can judge by yourself and tell me who is more patriotic than the other. Mazinan de Azikiwe. We all know his history, how he managed the affairs of Nigeria and his earnest desire uh, was to see a better Nigeria and to see a nation whose independence become imminent, a nation who is free uh, from the hands of the uh, uh, colonial masters. Meanwhile, make I drop you that audio of MNK, make you see as it be. And see, I require you to require you to see as it be. Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are. This is an emergency broadcast. We are live this evening. We are direct. 
and we are letting the world understand as i told everybody before that the enemies of freedom the liars the looters the criminals the deceivers and their cohorts they will always fight back neo-colonialism has a way of fighting back but we are going to demolish them i will prove to them that we are far more intelligent than they are it doesn't matter if they are white skinned or brown skinned or dark skinned we want to let them understand that the era of lies and deception division and idiocy has come to pass we came on air this evening for two things for two things please this evening we must announce it my name is Inam Dekano. i am the leader of the indigenous people of biafra all over the world the director of radio biafra and biafra television and by the very special grace of the most high elohim a servant of the wonderful people of biafra i want all biafrans to listen very carefully this evening these are very 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 critical and important announcements i want all our media people to be on alert i also want to place our volunteers on alert this very night in abba because we have received very distressed do you see why i said to some of you that when you go to protest if i say it has to be a peaceful protest you protest peacefully and you go home we have our emergency everywhere tonight everybody in the name we must go home immediately after the candlelight vigil you go back home to your houses we go back home to your houses immediately immediately it is very very critical you go back our land is going to come under attack any moment from now and i am placing our volunteers on high alert this very evening are done urgently and our media will need to go into full gear the nigerian youths who are protesting they have defeated tunubu and he has run away the people that chased you away from lagos are nigerian youths they are people from yoruba land for your information from oduduwa do you think they don't know what you've been doing this nonsense had to be put to bed tonight they are circulating their propaganda once again they think they are smart they don't know who we are whoever is behind this rubbish will find the idiot tinubu was chased away because you killed people they now want to flip it britain is trying to help them to flip the narrative everybody everywhere around the world must go to work tonight bola made the tunubu i did not chase you away the people of nigeria chased you away because you're a thief you're a criminal you are a supporter of evil and above all you kill people and i am also a you will be destroyed completely what other garbage is this do you think we condone evil do you think Nam the kind of condones evil i'm asking you mad people everywhere you arranged with your thugs so that the videos are everywhere all those myopic made it abundantly clear i have made it abundantly clear it's ipob it blaming ipob go to my wall now you will see it it's on my wall little did i know that having caught them there they came now to flip it that an uh, end says may the toilets will sink tinubu you were chased away by nigerian youth you are now crying wherever you are because you're no longer in lagos killing people you're no longer deceiving them and taking their money it was your people that chased you away oh do do what yoruba people chased you away because you are a criminal did our people that daft those of them that are circulating this nonsense to are they stupid they cannot reason you did not see the brt buses conveying thugs to go to the protest sites you think that what happened between our work and and zeke will not happen in our time britain is planning to divide the south once again so that the north can conquer any idiot who cannot see it you are insane you are insane you are daft 
That is the thing with the South. You people are foolish. Very, very foolish because you don't listen. Fulani knows the game is up, it is over. Unity of the South and the did you write about it? The answer is no. And you want to play this your useless idiotic tribal games. Britain, we are no longer tribes. We are nations. You have all the money in the world. You have white skin. You are Betule.